But we all know that you educators out there don't do shit and can't change it because I tried and people are still going to do what they're going to do and go where they're going to go. But I can improve it. And this is something that nobody else has done. This is proper education. Weekly gang, we're back. Monday morning, I'm in a great mood. The sun is shining. I am getting the keys back for lots of properties that have been renovated. I am also getting the keys to lots of new properties this week. And I'm really happy, as you can tell. I'm in a great mood. I'm not feeling 100%. I'm kind of running at about 60% because I've got a, a sore throat and my chest is killing. But nevertheless, I have the keys back for this. Show them the spotlights. Hate them. Wrong colour. Don't like the lights. Spotlights are too small. But the finish, I'm very happy with. I'm going to shoot a video on it before and after. If you remember, it was a dog groomer's. The floor has cost me nearly £6,000 because the wood underneath was rotten. Not happy about that, but we've got past it. See how old Tom is doing his thing. He is making a snagging list, which I can see has gone onto the second page and he's laughing. But yeah, it's scrolling. It's scrolling. The snags are mine though. Shall I give you a couple of examples of the snags or not? Shall I? Because I'm doing a video. Um, 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 yes, quickly, come look at this. I'll give you two snags. That. And the whole of that bathroom. But, it's minor problems that will be completed. Oh, and another one. Three snags. Um, but yeah, happy. filming a before and after video with the main man. Phil, you're still the main man. Don't get, don't get upset. Going around to check one of the other renovations around the corner. But then from there, we're on to another property which we have purchased, which has a very, very cool story. Mate, just, just by looking at the front of it, you know, I see I do, what, 10 houses a month where I render them and paint them. And every time I see it, it's still, I still get the wow factor. And this ain't even finished. Boiler needs changing and they're going to have a field day. I don't want the spotlights that are in that shop. I want the bigger ones. They're too small. They're too small. Huh? No, no, no. You know the, spot, the spotlights we just had? You know the spotlights I've got in my home? The LED panels. Yeah, the bigger ones. Yeah, I need them. Just make sure we tell him before we leave because he's going to put them with the ones in. Can I have the bigger spotlights? The bigger ones. Of course you can make Yeah, and can I have them cool? White, yeah, not warm. Yeah, yeah, so they give that more of a bright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like my house. Yeah, free sunglasses. They're the ones I want, please. Wow. This house is one of my favourite houses. It's such a small house, but I'm like, I've, I've got a, a, something with this house. It's really weird. That's the thing for that. Probably because of the price we've got it for. So we're in the property where I knocked all the walls out and I got bought here by Tom and then yeah, he questioned himself, he leaned up against the wall. Try and put that piece of footage back in where Tom's just like. <laughs> yeah, so from here, cut the wall there. Knock that completely out. What do you mean? Shit. What do you say then? No, no, it's 10 times more. The house looks beautiful. It's got so much, you've got so much more light throughout. And it, it, we achieved what we needed to achieve. Three walls have been knocked out. Darren knocked four chimney breasts out. There was 40 ton, 40 ton of hardcore that he had to hand ball from here to the front so the, the grab truck could get it out. But top job, the space in here is incredible. What's your thoughts on it? You like it? Yeah. Upstairs is incredible. This is really coming along now. And all the back, if you look, all the back's been rendered. See all the walls? All upstairs has been rendered. Sorry, upstairs, all the back's been rendered up and down and then the front's all been done. 
So now we can get in, we can get the carpentry started, probably get a mist coat on and banister rail, like he's just said, um, kitchen and bathroom, they've already been ordered, they're here somewhere, I don't know where they are. But yeah, this is coming on and I'm very happy today. Good start to the week. Hey, I'll give you a prime example of why they're not great. How many of them still work? I've got eight of them out of you, 12. We're fucking bro yeah, 20. But eight I'd, rather, I'd rather fix them every, every year nah, to, to have your house look the bollocks. But anything like that than white. Yeah, put them in white. Not yeah, but not that size. Ones. That, but that's, that's what you have in a house. You, what you have there is what you have in an office. It's a different light. Well, my house looks the bollocks. Yeah, I don't like them. They're but that's you. Last. You didn't like the walls out? They don't last. You didn't like the walls out? It doesn't matter whether they last or not. I'll, I'll keep okay, replacing so you know The problem then is yeah. when you've drilled a bigger hole out there. Yeah. So you've got them in a bigger hole. Yeah. If you decide you don't want them light, you have no choice. But I want them lights. I've had them lights light. forever in a day. So please put them lights in. I don't want these small ones in here. Okay. I want the big lights. And then what's going to happen, guys, because I can see you filming me over there, when we come back here in three weeks' time and the lights are no, going to go, oh, nice. wow. No, 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 I'm not saying they won't. I just say that they break. Yeah. Shit, and we'll fix them. And the hole's massive. <laughs> and we'll fix them. No, no, he's got, okay, he's got 20 in his house. I've been in there for two years. Eight. Every time we come to this house... I was just about to say it. I can't, yeah, I kind of feel like they, they, they get very stressy when I'm here. And it's the smallest project we've got going. It's not small. That's, that's, that's not a good thing. It's still a 45 grand renovation. But these, these lights, guys, in here are no good. They're small, they're, I don't like them. I like the cool ones where you have to have, where they're really bright and they make things look good. So they're not happy. Again, but when they come back, they'll be like, Steve, looks amazing. So we just wait for a couple of weeks. Just wait for a couple of weeks. You'll see my craziness works, but craziness on spotlights is not, it's just what I like. But look at this, remember this from when we was here before? Damn. All the damn. Completely removed. This house is incredible. Just give them a little 10 second click. Some of the guys who messaged me on Instagram have turned up here today as well, who just wanted to meet, ask a few questions. So that was quite nice. I put a post out last night saying we're in this area. Three or four people have turned up downstairs. There's another three or four people around the corner. And then in Preston, there's another five or six people that want to meet us. So guys, if I ever post on social media that I'm going somewhere to a property, you can come, speak to me, ask me any questions and have a look at what we own. It's a struggle to get this house. <laughs> it's been a nightmare to get this house, but we're finally here. We put the keys up on Friday. What a great house. Can you get some drone footage in the weekly? Show them the house, please. Did you like the drone footage? Can you smash that like button if you did, because we don't get enough likes on our videos, as Phil has just informed me. But we paid 285,000 for it. Renovation's going to be about 120 to 150,000 and then the end value is going to be whatever it's going to be because none of us know around here apparently. Everyone is saying completely different things. Agents, sole price on the street, people around here who have knowledge. I've got my figure in my head, which I might actually put in the weekly at the end of the week on Saturday. But I know what I think it's going to be. I don't really care what anybody else says because that's what I think. Does that sound bad? Now dream big. A few minutes later. Signing out. We're on our way home from Preston and I've brought the whole team to have McDonald's. See? I'm the nicest person ever and it's been a fantastic day, a really good day. Happy to get the keys back on one of the properties, happy to get some updates on some other bits and pieces. I think we missed about two houses though because Phil and Duna were still filming at one of the properties while me and Tom went somewhere else. Hopefully we can catch up this week because I think we're back up here on Friday. Saturday. Saturday, so we'll see. But all in all, a fantastic day. Isabella wasn't with me, so that's the only downside. Actually, she just texted me right now. And this week is going to be the best week we've ever had. Tres. Can you do that again as well? Like, tell them what you've just done. I said, uno, dos, tres. New way of starting the weekly? Yes. <laughs> that's good. Guys, we're back. We're in the office. As you can see, the screens are off the wall again. No problems. 
we are improving the zoom for tomorrow night this is some of the shit that's got to go back together but end of the day i will show you the office back to normal again it's been a good morning great morning as usual we've had zero can you see zero like that or like that i don't know how you guys see it but zero issues everything's amazing i want to give you a little sneak peek of what duna's working on which you will see friday and saturday wow big things coming from team 11 i can't wait to show you that on friday or saturday that's gonna be really cool tt looks like he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders so why have you took them off without me Oh, so the two of you did it together? Okay. Well done, Phil. Today's a great day. It's going to be a great day. Duna looks like he's about to punch the screen on his laptop. Apple, get your shit together. Yeah. Imagine if we got sponsored ads by Apple and that's how we did it. But no. Sneaker Doc. James, who I have known since the set in the still but but who I have known since the inception and I am very, very close friends with, has delivered all the trainers back, nice and fresh, very clean. Top guy, can you please put it here? Can you leave it on the screen as well, please, yes. Felipe? But yeah, got a lot to do. I'm dressed like this because I have lots of lifting to do and I have lots of things to get ready for the Zoom tomorrow. But all in all, I'm happy and I hope you guys are having a great day. So we get the table. You know what tables, you, you've got it in your head, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And then we put the boards up, and as I was just saying, swinging the camera around, obviously you are right, it does need to be in a different location, but this whole room has to be perfect. Yeah. Without it being perfect, there's no point in doing it. So when the camera zooms across to the right now, instead of the left, we're not gonna have the reflection from the windows because we're gonna have the blackout curtain on there. The wall's gonna be white, so the background's cleaner. The wires all need to be put down, but this section of the office needs to be set up like this, full time. Yep. So it's not like when Tuesday we're setting it up. It has to be set up full time. Take well, either way, minus. it needs fixing, it needs sorting. We have 24 hours, so just get it done. It's that simple. Just get it done. There's always a way. So we've come out to get some furniture and we've got a crazy ass day and Tom Warlow has decided he wants fish and chips from probably one of the most famous chip shops in the whole of Birmingham. So we'll get him some chips, hopefully recharge him and then he'll get his ass to do some work. This feel, feels undercover cam. Oh, feels undercover cam. <laughs> trying to find a table for the podcast and the Zoom and everything else is proving to be seriously difficult and stressing me out because we've been looking for two hours now and I've missed two hours of work at the office because I didn't prepare. I'm not happy. Weekly gang, I've got to end the day because I have a party to go to. Uh, sorry, not a party, dinner. Yeah, a party, but it's a dinner party. And I have to shoot home before I go there. Special guest in today. He's not going to speak, he's shy. He's <laughs> in the show, he's not going to speak. Uh, mate, okay. He's under pressure. Uh, yeah, good. Uh, there is what he <laughs> he's under pressure. We have another special guest in. Say hello. hello Weekly gang, come and take a look at this. Ta da! It's exactly the same as it was this morning. We've got nowhere. All the cables are here, TVs are still off. But after I've had my dinner tonight, I'm coming back to sort it out with TT and hopefully tomorrow it will all be sorted for the Zoom. Not hopefully, it will be sorted. What do I need to mention to them, Phil? Because you told me that I have to remind them about something. Uh, the table. The table we went out to buy today. Yeah. Wasted three hours of my life looking for a table, round table that goes there for the Zooms and the podcasts and it just did not happen. How many shops did we go to, would you say? At least five minimum. Terrible, awful, didn't happen. I've got to have one made bespoke, which is going to cost a fortune, but it's for TPC. So it's important. And 
Guys, don't forget the networking event on August the 6th at Panache. £65 a ticket, free course meal. There is the flyer. Limited tickets, please book. Don't miss the networking event, you'll be stupid. If you're in property and you're not there, you're not really in property. But I've got to go. See you later. Patience yeah, and property. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've got to understand that property can be the most, it's the greatest thing in the world for making it belong. Yeah, it's right. a yeah, you got to learn patience and you know we have a lot of people around us who have no patience and they're like What's going on? I'm like, solicitor's doing the thing. Well, Steve, I'm remortgaging my house and it ain't happened yet. What do you want me to do? Like, it's in solicitor's hand. Um, yeah, but I've called them today and they're saying it could be another four weeks. What do you want me to do? Oh, Steve, can't you just make a call to someone? I'm like, who? Who? Hey guys. It is Wednesday. We are getting prepared for the Zoom. We've just finished a mentor meeting with Ryan. That went really well. Might be doing a joint venture with him actually because he's ready to take that next step. So that's exciting. What do you think? It's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm very, very happy with what behind us. Duna worked his magic again, made it happen. Now it's time to clean the office up. Cue time lapse. Using some very big words. The words are there to bamboozle us. Entice? No, it's not entice, it's bamboozle. <laughs> European kitchens, H2O driven AC unit, so you've got a heat pump in an IKEA kitchen. Um, <laughs> Don't come into an IKEA kitchen. <laughs> That's what that means? Yeah, I know, but be nice. He's fluffed it up. Smart hot water good. cylinder, so you've got, so you're going to have immersion heaters. Yeah? Yeah. And and there's seven flats. AI technology. Fibre, so you got fibre, but it's a cardio flooring, so yeah, we like cardio. So the seven, yep, it's two studios, four one bedrooms, and one two bedroom. Yep, he's marketed them at 284 to 2359, which you'll get flat. in Cambridge Town Centre, yeah, but the 360 is reaching, he's mm. reaching. No, he's reaching, I know this, he's reaching. He wants 1.2 million for all seven of them off market, and he's offered it us. So, so he's, he's going to build them, and we're just going to buy them built. But this is the thing that I just, I, when I spoke to him. I was like, no, I don't want to, I'm not paying 1.2 million for them. I was like, mm. no, that's not happening. I was like, send it over, we'll go through. There's a floor plan on them. Obviously, you clearly see that. Um, Are they actually on the river camp? Yeah. So, mm. this is this is the layout in them. So, they're not huge. The 286 square foot, that one. That one's 420 square foot. The loft one's 297. The cheapest one is obviously the studio. Where is it on here? I'm presuming the studio. Loft studio, loft studio. Yeah, 254. That's the cheapest, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 254 is the cheapest. And then here it is what he's got. So, so he's that's got, this one then, I'm guessing, yeah? The, the, the lower. Yeah. So he's got the, he's got the ground at 300, the ground middle at 285, 289, 359, 314. Total is 2.1 mil once they're all done and converted. So we're going to essentially JV with him, front the money, and then we sell them and then Something along the those lines, yeah. But I, I want them for, for the portfolio. You want them because of the they're in Cambridge, Cambridge on the River Camp. Yeah. And it's an overpopulated area. But I'm not paying what he wants and he knows that. And that's why he sent it over to me. And he's like, no, we're open for discussion. But 
I reviewed them last night. I've printed them out for you and Isabella to review today. Isabella actually looked at them yesterday. So are these like are these like opening you, doors on yeah, so you, I think you'd need I think we'd need more of um visual. More of a visual because you see this here. So if this is for instance, this is a first floor apartment, yeah. These look like French doors, so you're gonna have a little balcony. No, there. they are French doors. But, so if that's that, but if that balcony then is I'm guessing on the end here with the bigger windows, yeah. If that's that, then essentially it could be looking over the river. But we don't know we don't know the orientation and we don't know what it's looking at, so we need more of a External plan, don't we, to see where it sits? Yeah, he never sends an external plan. No, so over. more of like the, the, the land bridge. No, I'll just drive over there. I've got the address there. I'll just drive over and have a look. Yeah, but you won't find that? No, I think the footings are done. Okay. I think the footings are based. He's yeah. done all the basics. I've done all the groundwork and all that kind of stuff. Let's go down there next week and have a look. The only thing that I want to see is see the style of them. Yeah. I don't like that style. That's the plan and approved yeah. style. There's not a lot you can do. So there's probably a reason for it. Could be could be that the buildings either side of it have have that. Yeah, I don't like the style this of is it. The because Cambridge is really like it's very quaint. Is the quaint word is the word, but it. also it's quite like formal. So yeah. if you look at a row of their buildings, they're always pretty much the same. Mm. So he would have had to fall in line with whatever's yeah either side. Okay, there's the address. Do some research, please. Yeah, we can do that. I've sent you this on an email as well. So you've got all this. Some of, the, some of this is a bit questionable. What, would you like to interrupt Big Philippe? How are you going to buy them? Yeah, yeah, explain what's going on. Yeah, so I got sent these a few days ago from somebody off market and got a figure that they want. They're I, off market, off plan as well, aren't they? Yeah, really? I want them for our portfolio. You heard Tom say a few minutes ago, I think it was um, the location. I want them for Cambridge, if I'm honest with you. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm not paying what the guy wants. So he was literally like, we're open to discussion and got all of the plans. I've got all of the council approvals. I've got everything, all of their estimations and just going to go through it now and see what we can do. But it's a great investment if I can get it at the right price because the rental market and the capital appreciation on these is nuts. So yeah, um, I'll keep you updated and let you know how it goes with it. He actually basically turns them into SAs, he's saying they can be let out as a part yeah, of Yeah, so another thing I wanted to tell you, the person who sent me this as well was also like, would you be inclined to give them back to us to run a service accommodation? He actually asked me that directly. And that's interesting because you actually, if you try and get a hotel in an accommodation in Cambridge, you pay through the nose yeah. and you can't get one. That's because people, there's that many universities there and that many people's families obviously yeah. want to visit, along with tourists like myself. So I did some research and made a few phone calls to people I know about service accommodation in Cambridge when I got sent this last week. Yeah. And I was like- 200 pound a night? And I was like, it works. Two, 300 pound so a night? So that's one of the reasons mm -hmm. that I am so keen on purchasing this because the long-term yield on this is exceptional. Well, a, a basic hotel in Cambridge, B&B hotel in Cambridge is 180 a night. For a, for, a, for a hotel, for a cheap hotel. Well, we'll see. Let's, let's, um, let's keep an open mind. Do some research, please. Let's have a look. And I'm going to get back to him tomorrow. Okay, okay. that's fine. What time to Kevin Go on, do it, do it. Go on, get me on there, get me on there. Hi. Hello. I'm back here now. So I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Mentoring, done for the day. I've had a great day. I always have a great day. And, oh, you on there? Hi, Phil. <laughs> now we have the Zoom, which is going live in approximately 45 minutes. Kevin Wood is actually having a beer at the pub down the road. Is that nerves? I reckon so. I reckon he's nervous. Kev, when you watch this back on Sunday, because you don't know we've been saying this, was you nervous and that's why you went and had a beer? I reckon so. How are you today, Phil? Because I haven't seen you much, have I? You've been in the background, flying around. Just been busy. Been busy doing what? Uh, working as always. That's nice. And this guy now is ready to get everything set up. No mess ups this week. Everything's going to run nice and smooth. The whole new, look how clean the room is as well. Can you show them how clean the room is without getting Isabella in there? New studio. New studio, new setup. Things are working 
exactly how we want them to work. So I need to crack on with this. Oh, TT's back. He's had a good day. I think they've secured a property in Blackburn. Is that correct? But we've had to send proof of funds off. 120, 125,000, five bedrooms. End value is, what's the end value guys? You know what, I'm gonna get someone on the camera. Stay right there, hold it, don't move. <laughs> Few moments later. 12 o'clock midnight. The next day. This is who we have here. Did you put the mic? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you thought you put it down your top or something? No, no, no. Tell, tell the weekly what's happened today. It's a good day today. Um, might have secured a house. Um, one, two, five, put an offer in. Refurb's about 80k, but end value is 300k. Uh, yeah. Good house, to be fair, massive. Massive? Really massive. The lady has just called you, hasn't she? Yeah, just called me. And said what? Put your best in final because it's very competitive, me and someone else. Do you yes. know who the other person is? No, they've put an offer in. Have you looked at and put a cash offer in? Of? They didn't say. She just said one, two, five is okay ish, but just trying to work out the max I can put in because it is good potential. Have you spoken to Isabella what the max is that we can put in? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, so that. that's the next port of call after this. Yeah. And also, We'll do a live weekly yeah. sourcing fee. Because obviously he sourced it. We're buying it. We want to keep this house. Where are we at the sourcing fee, mate? First one for yourself. Do low, proper low. Okay, then you tell me what you want. Uh, Let's negotiate. Isabella's in the background, giving the thumbs up and the thumbs down. Gersh, insert Gersh, is there paying close attention because he's seen this happen on the weekly a few times. Lamar's getting ideas because I can see his feet twitching. Where are we at? No, I was going to say basic, 1500 That was the rest. Oh, I was going to say £1. So, guys, did you hear that? He reckons he's found us a house with about 80 k profit, and he was like, just give me £1,500 sourcing stay fee. Stay humble, be nice, be kind. I'm impressed. I am actually impressed. Because if that was Gersh, she'd have said he wants eight grand. <laughs> Keep you updated whether we get this house or not. See you on the Zoom. I'm actually going to do some interactive shit on the Zoom as well, so I'm going to do the Zoom and the weekly. Backwards and forwards. You don't fall asleep and put some people up on the other screen. <laughs> Weekly gang, we have a special guest in the building. He's had a couple of beers. To can't know he hasn't really. <laughs> no, I am. He's, um, he's, he's ready to go. He's excited. He's brought the angry labourer with us. Yep, and Jimmy. And Jimmy. There's a few actual people around here, but you can't do a spin because Isabella's there. Sonny's here. Do you all recognise Sonny? He's bought the house next door to ours in um, Wales. In where? Phil, you're, you're on the ball, aren't you? You're on the ball. Also, Lamar um, has just been here. He's gone to get me a king size Twix and a bird has pooed on him. So I think we've got a video of it, actually. Someone was filming him at the same time. And we're starting in, well, just over 15 minutes. Someone else is coming now. That might be Lulu, who sourced the deal for us. Let's see. It is Lulu. It is Lulu. Hi, how are you? Are you okay? Yeah. It's we're, so hot outside, it's lovely. We're just talking about you sourcing a deal. Um, okay. we're, we're just having a conversation. Um, and yeah, so Lulu's just come in. Everyone's here. We're starting in 15 minutes. He's not going to stutter. He's not going to mess up. There's no, there's no second takes tonight on the Zoom. So guys, if you're members of the Property Circle and it went tits up, blame him or blame him. <laughs> yeah. You can you can say you got under eight flooring and you don't have it. I would do know. It's on the wall and that there's a firmer stuff on the wall. Guys, I just have the tire. So he said. How's the value you're gonna know if you got underfloor heating when he's got his shoes on? Um, I think the answer to that Gersh is they'll be told by the owner. Yeah, and you can you can say there's reports. Yeah, but you can say you can say that you've got it. How would they know? Because the value is there for what I don't know about you, but they're not there for long, are they? 
Take your shoes off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, sorry, say again, guys. Value ain't going to check everything, are they? Like that. No, but if you're there, yeah. then you tell them. But obviously, if you're not there and you've got underfloor heating, he does have a very good point, though, guys. I know we're laughing and bantering. Um, but if a valuation officer goes round to the house and you're not there physically, how do they know that there's underfloor heating in that house if they're not really the thermostat? Yeah, well, they're not really going to pay attention to that because valuation yeah, officers nowadays aren't the same. Like I said, we've done hundreds of valuations on our properties when we've refinanced them or, or we've gone to get them valued to sell them. Um, they hate being told, they hate you standing next to them, and they hate you handing a book to them with all the work you've carried out. You know, there's some, some of them get really like funny about shit like that. So you just gotta let them do the thing most of the time. Oh, but thank you, and I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. Whoa. Thank you. Well, that's, that's Mate, that was brilliant. Good that. Like you've done absolutely fantastic. That was amazing. Watch the comments that come in the group chat from what yeah, you give them tonight. Yeah. That was incredible. That was amazing. Over the moon. You did smash it, didn't you? Yeah, I smashed it. You've done absolutely fantastic. Oh, guys, Zoom's finished. Just over two hours, um, two hours, ten minutes, and the whole conversation was about building. We was going to do half an hour question and answers on other things, but nobody wanted to know anything else apart from. We didn't even get there, did we? No, we didn't even get there. So thank you to Kevin for coming down. Thank you. And the next black tie event. Here he is. <laughs> He's on stage. He's ready. He's made for this. He's made for this. Made for it. Follow his YouTube channel. It's up here in the corner. So please check it out. It's really cool. Sign out because we have everybody in here. If you can do a feed, and I will see you tomorrow. The only thing that's putting me off what you're doing so far is this: you're having bifold doors there, yeah, but then you're having fixed fixed windows there. I don't know whether I like that personally. Open, if it's all open, don't forget this wall is off completely. That's yeah, the I'd want the bifolds to run. The whole thing. Well, obviously, aesthetically. Just, we just put the. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a, aesthetically. Yeah, it would, it would look better. But having a, a fixed panel window and then bifolding doors might not look as aesthetically pleasing as yeah, you think. It might. It might not look right. So maybe you leave the wall at the back there. The extension wall. Yeah. So you you leave this. You have a patio. Or, well, you have that. Just replace it. And you use this as a utility in a downstairs toilet. Where are you the putting boiler, your boiler? The boiler is going to come here by yep. the plan. It's coming off the bathroom. Yeah. It's off now. The, the plumber took it. So the idea is to the boiler put it in here inside the downstairs toilet that people do like a box room. Yeah. So the kitchens that we've seen and it's our plan. Try not to copy other people. Is it? Create your own thing. Because if you're copying what they're doing, the you're going to get the same value. So try and improvise and make the space utilize the space because this is big this isn't small yeah. especially for extend further, yeah this is a bigger. big space so me personally i'd want to i'd want to utilize this and make it's it diff different. make it different to them because then you can go and say well hang on mine's better i want more money yeah um like but if, utility yeah but if you them. copper if you cop sorry if you copy what everyone else on the street's doing you're going to get the same yeah, yeah. end value really but we, to be honest again that's the idea. We already are over our expectation because our comparable until last month was 280. Yeah. Because that's a good one. You'll get way more than 280 for this. Well, now, yes, because they were the one that's gone for 300 last month. It's our new comparable. Yeah. You'll get way more than 280. You, way would, more. Would you, would you put an extension on it? On so this now? Yeah. 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 That the garden's huge. Cool. That garden's huge. Like, that's a dead garden. Like who the hell's using that garden? Like well, truthfully. Even bigger than ours. Yeah. It's like fifty meters long. You know what? Actually. Oh, yeah, I know what to do now. I'd. You have time to think. You yeah, I've had time to think now. I'd do the extension to the wall, personally, if you can get to the wall, under permitted. Uh, to that little wall. Yeah, to the little wall. If if you can, that's where I'd go to, and I'd literally, I'd split the house straight across. So the front of your house is your living area. Mm -hmm. That wall where my Isabella is will be coming out, 100%. You need... you have the entrance and all this Well, place. the entrance is dead. No yeah. one wants a house entrance. So that would be your living room. I'd leave that wall there. I'd run your kitchen across there. I'd put your downstairs like toilet here, like you said. I'd have an island Which we already bought in the middle. Mm 
-hmm. and then I'd have bifolding doors all the way across. I'd have it two rooms. That's what I would do if it was my house. Budget? Say again? I think the budget's gonna go. No, I think you can do it in that budget. Forty five thousand. I think you've got I think yeah. I think you've got it. So keep that wall as you say. Yeah. That's gonna be the new kitchen. Yeah. Well that wall then is it's you chop you take that down. The breasts. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Both of them have gotta go out. But the kitchen would run across there, across there, lovely island, dining area, all of it open as one. Bifold doors all the way across the back. It would look sensational. And where would you put the toilet? Still here. Yeah. yeah but the bigger space. Right? Bigger space. Just a cubicle room. Yeah. It's can be bigger because the kitchen. Because you can put like your um, yeah. you can put your washing machine, your tumble dryer in this part the here plan as well. Was to put it in the end because of the plumbing outside. Yeah. The plumbing was like Again, if you're doing an extension, no, it's only going to be it's pipes. It's uh, not, it's yeah, a, yeah, of course. And obviously, you've got the, the the gap down the side of the house as well, so it can all run on the outside. But I'd split it into two. It would well, be split. Yes, we thought about keeping that wall and just working in this area. Yeah. But to your point, you know, opening there would be good. You got to imagine, guys. Let's. You was on the Zoom last night with Kevin, knocking this wall out here. Gives a massive room. Though. Yeah, but it's only six foot. It's only nine hundred pound. With the lintels. With the lintels, it's only nine hundred pound. Kevin yeah, told you last night. It's only nine hundred. Yes, and realistically, if you shop around, let's be completely honest, you get that done for six, five, six hundred pound. If you go to, if you contact Tom, message Tom. Um, he'll give you the number for our RSJ, you know the guy who makes the lintels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't beat the prices we get. He'll get you the lintels. You buy the lintel and then the builder have to And get the builder to fit it. We haven't got the builder yet, so... Yeah. Um, I can give you names of builders to give yeah, you quotes. So keep that wall, take everything off, extend it as much as we can yeah. and open there. Yeah, personally, that's me. Yeah, yeah. but you know what you can do here? You can split it into two. So you, to have a lintel from there... Stop here. Yeah, to there. That's expensive. <laughs> that's a lot of money. But if you can split it into two and build a cornerstone there, which you make as a feature, you get yeah. cool. That's good. So yeah. yeah, that's what I would do. They say it gives a bit value because it's the light that it brings into. The I room. think it'll make people have when people walk in to buy the house. Is that the master bedroom? Yes. It's a wow factor. What's the idea? To put patio doors. So if you come here, Duna's there. Look. Hi, Duna. Hey. <laughs> um, so we have damp at the bottom. See where the um, the, the covering is, the plastic covering. Yep. There is a damp issue there. Um, I don't know whether I've showed you inside. I'll show you on the main video. But take the window out, knock the wall out. Obviously all this roof's being done anyway, and then the house is being extended potentially, fingers crossed, put patio doors there and have it as, a, as an opening, which is really cool. And no one else on the whole of this road has done that. So they're leading the way. Creative, genius if that's what you want to call it but it does something different and it will give the wow factor to somebody who comes in as the master bedroom and they have the doors there mm. but like we just said i don't know whether you got it can't have it on the sides because if you're butt naked <laughs> and you're flashing you could end up in a lot of trouble police could be here you know could end up doing some things so you've got to be careful but no it's a great idea Is weekly it, gang yeah. we are in yeah, just is this Wormsley? Yes. So they're healthy. They are. They are very nice. Oh, no. nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. What boys? What area are we in? Yeah, Where nice. are we? Well, both got this uh, Eddington, but this is almost Wormsley and Tatton. Yeah. So the street behind is Wormsley, mm -hmm. which is Tatton. Yeah. I said Wormsley. I meant Wormsley. Yeah. Um, I'm with the boys. I'm with my Isabella today as well all day, so. Kit Kat Orange, they've bought us, they've treated us, look. Every time we shoot a video with these boys, they treat us. Every time they come to the office, they treat us. Anywhere we go, they treat us. Completed on the house today. Keys are ready for collection. We was going to go. It is a big house, it's a big project. No one in the property world has done what we've done. And all will be revealed on Saturday. No one's done it. I don't care what anyone says to me. Because the last time we did the Blueprint project, I got a few messages from people saying, oh, we've done something similar. No, you didn't. You did something, but not what we did. And what we've done now with this project, no one in the property sector has done. I could name five or six other educators out there, and you all know who I'm talking about, the biggest five or six in the UK. None of them have done that, what we've done. None of them have done what we're going to do. And we completed on it today. We'll let you know exactly what we're doing. But today, I'm shooting a video with two of our favourite property circle members, to be honest. Because they always treat us, always. They always look after us. They always support us. Here they are. There you go. Insert their, please, their whole thing up on the screen. Let them know who they are. But they always boil us chocolate as well. 
So anyone that buys this chocolate <laughs> automatically get put to the top of the list. But let me shoot this video and I will catch you at Nando's probably. We were shooting a video with the boys and I got really shaky. I got, went all really weird. So we've had to come for dinner first. A lot better now. More picked up, go back, shoot the video and then back to the office. Duna, over and out. And that's final? Yep. Okay. How many? 40. 10 of each size. Okay. Guys, we've restocked up on these. We've ordered another 40. They'd be nice, be kind t-shirts. And the profits go back into the community of buying things and putting a smile on people's faces. So look in the description below and buy one. £25, please buy them and let us help people who just want to be inspired and have a smile on the face. So if you haven't bought one, there's another week left of these and then it goes to... Uh, these are limited edition, aren't they? Okay. These, these are the limited edition and then we're going to bring up the new logo and everything moving Okay, forward. yeah, there you go. You heard it from TT first. So please purchase one of these. All the people that have purchased one so far, thank you very much. Massively appreciate that. You've... Um, Helped us go out and hand out about 11 pairs of trainers or something like that. So thank you very much. Um, yeah. And then Saturday, you're obviously with us. Yep. So yeah, um, everything else is amazing. Shall I run through with you guys at home our latest purchase? Well, one of them. The grade two listed building in Blackburn. Blackburn. I do know where it is. I, he, he's looking at me like, you don't even know where you bought a house. <laughs> yes, I know where it is. I forgot it was Blackburn. Um, there's no completion dates on that enough now is that nothing there's no pressure on it i've spoken to reese about the first thing this morning because i wanted him to chase to confirm values and stuff so he's been doing that for me he got back to me a little while ago and he's spoken to the actual selling agents again about flats and the desirability etc etc but they're adamant that you're not going to get it into flats there's got to be a reason there's why there's got to adamant. be a reason why yeah so did they ask say why are you adamant yeah, yeah. what did they say he didn't really give me a straight answer. Do you, to wanna, do you wanna get the phone number and I'll call the person now in front of yeah. the weekly so they can actually understand how because the, they've, agents they've talk. They came back to Reese and said to Reese, um, you obviously just need to go through local Planning. authorities yeah, and to ask, get it ask through. the questions. Okay, let me make a phone call. Wait, uh, one second. So they would, they, Reese is rang this morning. So Reese is the source. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to say, business partner. I have to tell a little porky sales. guys. That Reese is the business partner. For an update on an because he found it, he's been dealing with them. We've sent our. Thank you, speaking. How can I help? Hi there. Um, I'm inquiring about a property that we've purchased from you, which is 15 Richmond Terrace in Blackburn. Okay. Um, my business partner's called you this morning, Reese, um, had a chat with you. We've bought it off you guys for 131000 Um yeah. Very happy with the property, there's no issues. The only thing I wanted to speak to you about was, um, Reese spoke to you this morning and said that you s was quite adamant that you would not get permission to turn this into flats. Is there a reason? Do you know this for a fact or is that just... Uh, uh, let's have a look for you. Fantastic. I'm not too sure myself, but let me just try and pop you through to Abby because I know it's her that has been dealing with the property. I won't be a moment. Fantastic, thank you. I feel quite bad that I've had to say that he's my business partner. It's a bit of a porky, but deal sources. You can take a look at some of the great you know how it goes. Are you okay? Hey, Abby, it's Stephen Hamilton. I am Reese's business partner on 15 Richmond Terrace in Blackburn. Um, are you alright? I'm fantastic. How are you? Good, very well, thank you. Good, good, good. We've purchased property. We got it for 131. Um, very happy with the purchase, and I've just been told by Reese that we probably would never get permission to turn it into flats. That's it. I believe it's only been able to be approved for one single dwelling, but I'm honestly not too sure as to why it was rejected. I can speak to the owners and find out and get back to you. Yeah, it doesn't compromise the sale or nothing like that. We no, was just, I was just, just thinking, if I can put it back in and get permission to turn it into flats, I would love to. 
But if I'm wasting yeah. my time, I'll just carry on converting it into a five-bedroom house. Smashing. No, that's all right. I'll, I'll find out the exact reason as to why. Yeah. Um, and I'll call you back. Is it on this number? Yes, please. That would be great. Smashing. What's your name? Stephen Hamilton. Stephen. Oh, yes. Smashing. I'll call you back as soon as I can, Stephen. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. So it has been rejected. Mm -hmm. doesn't say that it was rejected. It no. states that it was pulled. Yeah, and he, she's also not told Reese it was rejected because Reese hasn't told me that. Yeah, so I'll see you guys make a phone call and you get some answers. So hopefully we will be receiving a phone call from Abby very shortly as to why we can't have this property as flats. Onto the big screen. Weekly gang, I have just been informed by TT that we have bought this here is that correct yes just being informed so it is absolutely huge it's about 20 rooms i'm being told is that correct yeah. and the rest it's four floors four floors yeah there's a the basement, basement. Out. that's obviously the loft room that you just gone over there the loft room's in some state because it's obviously had a bit of mischievous Stuff. You can see it, can't you? Mm -hmm. You can see what's going on in there. That's the that's the basement. That's the basement. Huh? Okay. So this is the property, one hundred and thirty-one thousand. Let's see if I can get the what's it called for you? That's the floor plan, guys. It's got permission to be a five-bedroom house now. It was offices, wasn't it? Yeah, offices throughout. You can see the size of it. It's absolutely incredible. We've just spoken on the phone to Abby and she said it got rejected for flats, but it got passed for a single dwelling. The car parking situation is something that I can see as being a very, very big problem in the planning, uh, in the approval of flats. I'm going to show you why. That is outside the front, which, is no good. But the buildings, to me, are spectacular. I think they look absolutely awesome. But is anybody going to want to raise a family or move there? Two adults, three children, town centre, in a house that's going to cost £300,000. New garden. I'm not convinced. No. Not convinced whatsoever. I'm really confused as to why it is a five-bedroom house. But are we missing something? Wait for the phone call and then we'll see what we're going to do. Um, I'm not convinced about that. No. I want you won't, it. You won't get planning because of the phone. But I still want it. Mm, no point. Don't why waste time. Well, we can turn it into a five bedroom house and rent it out. 131 grand for Blackburn Town Centre. For grade two listed building on that yeah, road. It's commercial, couldn't you? Just renovate it into commercial. Office. I think there's commercial offices empty down there for lease. I don't think they're renting. Oh, is there? Unless we could buy like, if we could buy six of them, which will come to about 800k. Has uh, planning been rejected? No, rejected for flats, approved for a five bedroom house. Why has it been rejected for flats? Rejected? She's about to tell me now, but I'm presuming it's the parking. There's no parking. How big is it? Big, huge. Could we not do three flats? They don't want flats full stop. Turn into what, darling? I'm not sure these buildings are being rented out for anything. Looks a bit dead, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. Um, so, but anyway, so we'll make a decision afterwards. What, what do you got to tell us? I've spoken to the printer. Yeah. And he said, oh, you got deep pockets if you want to buy the, the if you want to buy the, the uh, print over board uh, notebooks. And I said, well, why are we having them? Why don't we just have normal notebooks? He was like, yeah, normal card fronted notebooks. And he was like, well, they're like a tenth of the price of why you even. So I said, well, send me the price for the one, send me the price for the other. And then I'll just let the man decide. Okay. What's the, um, you know, for the, the big project. Yeah. What? When are the boards being printed? When are we collect collected at nine a.m. Have you got a driver nine to collect them? Yeah, and then it's already done. Okay. Uh, and then he's driving straight there, dropping them straight off, and then he's driving from there then to deliver a kitchen to me in Fleetwood. And what time's Ant getting there? Ant's getting there at seven. The timber's getting there at eight. Does he understand the, the project? Ant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, completely. He's got video. So he knows that it's going to run up. So he's got to start where I said. And when it yeah, runs, laser, so it's gonna, yeah, sort of stressing me out of this. So I'm, um, I'm a little bit nervous that this is not going to run. It will. 
No, it's exactly it's how I want it to work. He's got the timber. He's got a laser. Are you talking about the colours? If there's four orange... Just let him put the timber up first. Okay. The, the, the boards aren't being delivered. I'm going to go there. You're going to go there. We can and we'll place them out. Yeah, because placing them out is easy because all he's going to do is lift them up. offer them up four screws. We're having some um, boarding put around one of our latest projects. Pretty cool, actually, to be fair. It's cost us a fucking fortune. An arm and a leg. It's cost us nearly £4,000 to put some goddamn boards up. Stephen, you're free to out there. Are you okay? I'm good, thank you. Are you? Well, very good, thank you. Good, good. Um, it was just to let you know, I've spoken with the vendor. From what he said, he said that the council rejected it as it would be too noisy, as if they was to allow it for this one, they'd have to allow it for the whole street. Okay. Um, so basically, I think from what he said, he wanted to turn it into four, four or five two-on-one beds, but because there'd be that many, the council just rejected that. Okay, so that's why they're giving permission just for one house? Exactly that, yeah. Okay, perfect, that's fine. No problems, we we're happy to proceed. Hey, love it. If there's anything else, though, just let me know. Okay, thank you very much for that. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. There you go. So, that was the reason they rejected planning for flats. And what's wrong now? I can see you hovering. Well, you know how we ordered them kitchens for the, the big flats? And spent 15 grand. Mm. Well, I might have told the builder that they were just free base units. And it's, it, it's now arrived. He's unloading it. That's the plan. Okay. He's, he's, he's not very happy. There's quite a few kitchens there, isn't there? Give Phil the picture. If you airdrop in the picture, he'll put it in. He's not very happy. So let me speak then, because Tom can't yeah, be heard yeah. by the by the thing here. So Tom has basically told one of our contractors who were doing six flats for us. No, I don't think I've misled him. You did. No, no. So Tom there's, there's, has put the drawings up on the wall of, of the kitchen that shows three base units. So we said, "Is that the kitchen?" So I've said, "Yeah," but I didn't show him the the renders. So let the me side. explain to you. There's the bottom. And the view is from the top. It's a bird's eye view. So they're looking down. So it basically looks like a few units. If you come face on, there's units, and then there's units, and then there's microwaves built in the side, there's hobs. Um, so yeah, basically, the builder has just took delivery of six kitchens in the property, and he's looked at Tom, well, he's phoned Tom, and he's gone, are you taking the piss? We quoted you to fit some units, basically. Now you're fitting some very luxurious items in there, because they are luxurious so kitchens. I'll post, what I'll do is, for you guys, I will send pic Phil a picture of one of the renders of this basic kitchen, and I'll send him the picture of all the products, because... Yeah, so you can, can put it in, you can see. understand it. And I'll be there on Monday or Tuesday anyway, so I'll show you what the, what the outcome of that one is. Um, but going back to the Blackburn house, £131,000, can't get permission for flats. They will reject them. The noise, she said it was the noise just. The, the council rejects it because there's going to be like two or three one bedrooms and a couple of two bedrooms in a studio and they rejected it on noise reasons. Um, well, it's a, it's a commercial area. Well, I'm just telling you what she just told me. And for the council to reject it on that, that's the most poorest thing ever. Then it'll be parking. Then it'll be, it doesn't, it's not in keeping with the street. Then it'll be something else. So it's pointless, basically. We are buying the property to convert it into a five bedroom house. Are we still buying the property? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> we're still buying it for £131,000. So, all in all, it's a gamble and a risk. And if worse comes to the worst, we'll just set up some TPC offices in Blackburn and all these guys can move up there. Pay rent out the salary. <laughs> might cover the mortgage, might make a profit. And then me and my Isabella will just sit in these big, lovely offices, all on our own. And you guys can all work in Blackburn. How do you feel about that? So Tom's notebook's come to £4,100. Jesus. Okay, so Tom <laughs> wants to give... My notebook's come to 900 <laughs> So, uh, needless to say. So Tom wants to... We want some notebooks for the members to give them when they join the circle and you get like a welcome package. Um, and the ones that Tom wants to buy, as in um, TT, are £4,100. And the ones Warrello, COO wants... So are you the HOO? And he's the COO. You can't call him that. You can't say that. No. What? You can't say Head that. of office. No, you Ooh. can't. <laughs> um, so his ones are 900. But it, all it is is Tom went for the luxurious ones that I wanted and Tom went for the Real understated ones. ones that I didn't want. So you can see the difference. 4,100, 900 pound. Which ones are we going for? Neither. Why are you both looking at me like crazy for? 
we'll come up with something else. I'm not giving basic notebooks out. They the hell's point there? They get wrote in. Yeah, I'm not giving I'll basic do notebooks out. I don't really care. I'm not giving basic notebooks out. And I ain't paying for £1,100 mm. for notebooks. So we will meet in the middle somewhere and give them an iPad or something. <laughs> 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 I'm joking, guys. Don't hold me to that. Um, weekly gang, we're signing out because it's 20 past five. I'm going to watch Jurassic Park and see if I can sit still in a chair for two hours without touching this. Dealing with an email or responding to a WhatsApp group or sending a message or speaking to him. Laters. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Feels like an eternity. We're sat outside the estate agents, waited to collect some keys. Our solicitor has sent the funds. Their solicitors are saying the funds haven't cleared. It's been about an hour and a half, so we're just sitting here. We've been for dinner. I have a few guests now. Well, we have a guest with us today. Mr. Sarhill's with us. Duna's out for dinner, and time is ticking on, or he's out for a beer. One or the other. It's gone past. It's gone past uh, the stage of caring. Uh, I'm not making it. Amy's not happy. It is it is. So it's a knock on effect, it's like a domino effect in life. Yeah. So Duna's late, which means he won't be the one who jumps up and goes, surprise! Yeah. Amy might leave him. Yeah. His children might not be born. Yeah. His house might not be finished. Yeah. It's a right domino effect, this one, isn't it? Well, because of what? They're solicitors. They're solicitors. See this, this is why I hate solicitors. <laughs> now I'm not going to have any kids and I won't have a fucking house. <laughs> but if we get the keys in the next 30 seconds, that reality might become true. Back on. Back on, yeah, he's rubbing his hands. Back on. <laughs> so Isabella's making a call now. See, what's happening? What is happening? So funds were released to our solicitors at nine o'clock this morning. Funds were then transferred to the seller solicitors at about quarter past 11. We had, well, we headed over about an hour ago because we just thought, you know, yeah, should be done. Got here. Um, on the way here, we found our solicitors and they was like, oh, actually, we've not had a phone call yet, so I'll make a call now. Call the solicitors, they said they've not received the funds there and Sid checked his bank and he's called the bank and they've said that they've held the funds because... They've done a random check, random check on this day and it had to be this property. So he's on the phone to them now on hold, trying to get them to push it through. And we have 45 minutes till the end of the day, till that estate agent's close or closes. Um, but I've just said to him, listen, I don't mind going back and coming back Monday. It's just, I really wanted to collect some keys because I haven't done it for a very long time. And I thought it'd be quite nice, but I'm gonna wait for him to call me and if he doesn't call me by half past four, I am going to shoot off and collect the keys on Monday. Okay, as long as you're happy with it and it doesn't break. Yeah. Has he cut the hedge back? Yeah. Okay, as long as when I get there tomorrow, it's not snapped in half. That's all I'm bothered about. Time to get two done or three, and then put the boards on while you're there. So you can see. Okay, well if he's not bouncing, then that's okay. Yeah, well, he, he, all right, okay, just let me know. Okay, all right. So we've had some boards, 2.4 meter high boards by 1.2 meter wide. We've had 50 of them. So you can imagine the, the space and the span of that on one of the properties that we're doing tomorrow, which is the coolest thing ever to be on the property YouTube in the UK. No one's done this before. It's fucking incredible. I can't wait to show you guys tomorrow what we've done. Um, and we've had some boards put round and Tom, COO, and Ant, who's the landscaper, um, have concocted a plan, but they haven't taken into account the wind. So they're trying to come up with a plan it is now 22 minutes past four and they're panicking because they're up north and it's complete standstill. It took Tom four hours to get up north today from the Midlands because the traffic is just horrendous. And he's called every yard in the area to get these plywoods that we need and not one person will deliver them by five o'clock today. So him and Ant are trying to figure out the way that this is going to work.
Nail key collection. It's been postponed till Monday morning, which wasn't great, but we got to spend some time out with the team, which was nice. Back in the office, just having my Vimto, and it is quarter past five. We have a very busy day tomorrow, a very long day. I can't wait to show you. Going to grab some food, give you some steez cam actually of tonight of where we're going. And yeah, it's been a very long day, very hot day, which is amazing. And also on a plus note, the air conditioning is fixed in TPC headquarters. So now we can do our next networking event here. So every silver lining shines through a red rainbow on a cloudy Tuesday. We didn't collect no keys yesterday, but we're collecting some keys right now. Let's go. Got the keys, see you at the house. Welcome to another one. We're in the property and I'm over the moon with this house. It's incredible, detached, huge plot of land. And like I said, big project, huge project. 50 members of the property circle. Yeah, a lot more will be revealed. I'm probably gonna go on a rant now because education. Now you all know we did some education, the master classes, and that was fantastic. We sold out more or less out of 15, classes i think we sold out 13 times for someone so new into the sector that's incredible but i am a property developer first that's what pays the bills that's what buys everything that i like and we stopped the master classes and incorporated the education into being a part of the property circle or the property circle <laughs> the property circle or the property circle what we have done here me and isabella is given an opportunity to people who are trying to learn, who want education, and some people who can't get on the property ladder just yet because they don't have enough funds or personal circumstances. Now, all you property educators in the UK out there, and I know a couple of you watch this because you tell me, what do you actually do to help people? You charge stupid amounts of money, stupid, 10 to 12 to 15 to 20 grand, some of you are charging 25 to 50 grand for mentoring. But then when you mentor people, you hand them off to other people. So you don't actually mentor them. You get people that you've mentored to mentor them. That makes no sense to me because if I'm paying you to mentor or educate me, I want you to do it because you're the one that's supposed to have the experience. But we all know that you educators out there don't do shit and can't change it because I tried and people are still gonna do what they're going to do and go where they're going to go, but I can improve it. And this is something that nobody else has done. This is proper education. This is how you teach people, you help people, and you inspire people, not just by taking money off people and sending them off to your right hand or your left hand man or woman. So all you other educators out there, take notes, because I am taking over, and I'm gonna to prove to most of the people in the property sector that you guys don't have a clue about what you're doing, but the ones that are doing fantastic and the ones that actually are doing great, keep doing what you're doing because you are inspirational and you know which educators are good and which educators talk shit. So just pay attention. But now, happy place again. Let me quickly show you the house. have it 50 members of the property circle all coming together to create something that's never been done before and the way it works is like this weekly gang i'll explain next week